Anything but this. It's time for... <gasps> Hello, interns, and welcome back to more Psychonauts 2. I'm Mighty Z, this is Raz, and we are in the questionable area again. The area filled with lots of questions, like why did this campsite fail? Honestly, it's not that complicated. It probably failed numerous health codes and violations. Last time, I also shamelessly plugged the new show I've been working on, Just a Taste, where we talk about gaming's past and impressions about a game that represents gaming's future. And I put a link last time, but don't worry, I'm not plugging it at all this time. I don't need your feedback, which would be super helpful or anything like that. But if I did put the link up, it would look kind of like that link on your screen right now. But this is Psychonauts 2, and let's get back to it. Okay, today we are going to get a B for Compton. Compton believes if he finds that B, he can find his friend, lady friend, comrade, Cassie. All right, up here, there are more places to explore. We broke it up for this part. You can get up there, but you have to find three cogs to repair the train car. You can get up there using platforming and glitching if you need to, but the proper way is to just find the three cogs. They're not hidden very far. One is right in front. I threw it away and we'll find it later. One is here on the rock. I gotta put this on here. One moment. Okay, gotta put this on here like that. There we go. And one more is... Where's that other one? All right, well, the third one is over here. Ah, uh, the kids wrote stuff about Sasha and Mia. That's adorable. Great camp spot, but there's a cog leaning right there. You can pick that up and slap that bad boy in here and you'll be good. Let me go find that one I chucked real quick. Where are you? I had a bad experience like this a long time ago. Ah, uh, there it is, and now we should be fine. Let's just jam this on here, like so. Like so? Come on, do it. Come on. Hold up. Okay, hold up. I can do this. There we go. <laughs> there you go. And there you go. Nice and easy. You can do that as soon as you get here with telekinesis. No big deal. Funny story, when I first played this game, I grabbed a cog and accidentally just chucked it into a forest. Could not find it for half the game. I was super pissed at myself. Don't be me. believe mom forgave you so easily can we talk about you being psychic now Ugh, look Raz I know we played all kinds of weird brain games when we were kids but I'm not ready to break mom and dad's hearts like you did okay Dion's being a total jerk to me what a newsflash what else is the sky also blue how long does the family plan to stay out here just until the circus makes enough dough to pay for the trip home. Why don't you stay here with me? And do what? Join the intern program. That sounds humiliating. It is, but it builds character. I think. I'll, uh, consider it. Maybe I'll check the place out for a while. If we can win over Mom, that is. Hey, where's Sugar Cube? You mean my beautiful tiny horse? The one you kidnapped? She's with friends. She asked that I not tell you her location. No, she didn't. Don't 
tell me about my horse, Pooter. Bye, Frazy. Later, trainer. Let me guess. The fireworks went down instead of up. Better grab this before it hurts somebody. Wait, can the side challenge markers hurt people? I mean, I guess they are literally objects like emanating psychic power. They have cars levitating, spinning around them. Yeah, they probably hurt a normal person pretty bad. All right, so we are up here above the campsite and one of the highest places we can be. It's horribly maintained, so be careful. This is such a misunderstanding of Citanium, I can't even bear to read it. Here's a, some fake Citanium. You can read Citanium. that, it's actually legible. But it's like full Citanium. Real Citanium helps focus psychic powers, makes a lot of Psychonaut stuff possible, and may have given some psychics their psychic abilities in the first place. We can see Little Boiler way over there. We'll get to you later. But now let's move forward and there we go. Once you shoot that, you can slide over and we can grab this card here and move a little closer to the waterfall. Okay, now the Titanium causes this waterfall to go up, which is a crazy anomaly, but by slowing things down a bit with time pole, we can get back here. Now, if you remember way back, Lily needed some black fungus that was hidden in a damp area. And look how damp this cave is. There it is. Now, if you advance the story a little too much, Lily will move from that one spot she's in, and I think this quest is actually missable. I don't know any other quests like this, and it's possible you might be able to give her the fungus at another time, but for the life of me, I really don't know. But since that's way later in the game, you have plenty of time to get the time bubble, grab the fungus, and give it to her. I don't think you get anything special either. I think you just get like a free rank up, like a side challenge marker, but I can't remember. You'll see it when we get there. For now, let's go find our little brother again. It'd be really hard to find him if he didn't have that little boom box with him. Bouncing on mushrooms. Legally distinct mouse bounce pads. Mom's really worried about you. Oh, please. I'm the only one she doesn't need to worry about. We've had a nice little tour of the forest, but now it's time to focus on our mission objective. We need to go get those bees, and they're in the forgetful forest. But where is it? Man, I forgot. This part of the woods is giving <laughs> me the heebie-jeebies for some reason. Warning, the forgetful forest is not part of the questionable area recreation center and is not covered by our insurance policy. This sounds like the best attraction in the questionable area to me. Crazy? I know it's you. I'm not stupid. Ah! <laughs> ah! ah, crud, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh, 
That's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles, filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't give badges for. Yes, indeed. Li Lizzie and Nora are sisters. Lore develops further. They're the blue girls. Lizzie isn't nearly as mean as Nora. She messes with us for being a newbie green kid. But other than that, she's just hanging out in the country like a normal country girl. She's Looks cool. Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Swipe. Ooh, I got three. Even better. so fast Lizzie Ow Hey that's sharp Lizzie I just got that thing set again. The Green Needle Witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew, okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. And so I can get that senior league pass. Yay! We got the bees, and we almost were murdered by a horrible witch! It's all good! Let's talk to Dad. Dad? Hi, son. Think I'm getting any better at this? Press harder on your temples. Really? I'm already getting a bit of a bruise there. Just keep practicing. That's it? Clear your mind. If it were any emptier... I'd pass out. Focus on the hottest thing you can think of. Okay, then. I'm thinking of your mother. Ah! You're human beings, Rasputin. You're really taking to this psychic stuff. Like, really hard. Well, I guess I'm making up for lost time. Plus, it could be a fun father and son activity for us to do together, don't you think? Uh-huh. Dad, can I ask you about where we come from? You mean, Glovia. That's a sad story, son, but there were some glory days back in the old country. The Aquatos were part of a very prestigious national circus there. We even performed for the Tsar and his family from time to time. But then that monster Maligula ruined everything. Actually, Maligula's not ancient history. 
Some of her followers are trying to bring her back to life. What? The Psychonauts think one of her delusionists have infiltrated the base as a mole. Then be careful what you tell them, son. We're more connected to Maligula than you should say. What's that? What do you mean we're connected to Maligula? She comes from the Galokyo family. The family that cursed all of our family to die in water? Son, she is the Galokyo who cursed our family to die in water. And it worked. My father drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster. But my mother, your Nona, survived. She escaped Golovia and came here to get away from the curse. What do you think of the Devil's Fire Hose? No, oh, it's going to be a showstopper, I can tell. Your mother never disappoints, you know. I just wish she'd let me have a little, you know, razzle-dazzle. Oh, yes, like that. Thanks for helping out back at summer camp. Well, I could tell somehow you were in trouble. Probably because of our psychic connection. So, how is Lily? I couldn't help but notice when I was inside your mind... Dad! ...that you had some uncertainty about the status of your relationship. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Just tell her how you feel, son. Tell us all how you feel, Raz. <sighs> Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think Mom's on board with this psychic stuff. Oh, she'll get used to it. Like she did with my model train hobby. <sighs> Still so sad about how that elephant sat on my whole collection. Dad, our circus doesn't have any elephants. Hmm. True. Not sure where that animal came from. I'll have to ask your mother. She's the one who saw it happen. Wow. You know who else in the family is psychic, right? Does it rhyme with Daisy? Yes, and also with Lazy. <laughs> well, if that's true, then it's for her to tell us about some, not you. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. I had that coming. I'll let you get back to practicing. Yes, yes. I think I'm almost there. He's a very, very dad. Dad. <laughs> Let's talk to Nora. Hey, I found some of those scavenger. Mission critical psychonaut assets? Hand them over. Can I have my clothes back yet? Kid, you got a long way to go. Better get moving. Ugh. Nora's mean. Dad, this is how you like crap on fire. Like that. There you go. Not trying to impress anyone. <laughs> Alright. A little backstory on Dad. Toward the end of Psychonauts 1, we actually went into the mind of Raz himself. And his projection of his father was not flattering. His father revealed to him that he's a psychic and helped to save him and saw that negative projection. So he's been working ever since to change Raz's view of him and all of his children. Hi, Nona. Oh, hello, my sweet little turnip. Are you comfortable? Do you need anything? I'm happy as long as I'm with my family. Aren't you cold out here in the woods? Oh, please. I'm from Golovia. This is nothing. Can I ask you about the curse? Don't go near the water. Yes, I know about that part, but then you know the whole thing. All you need to know. <laughs> Do you hate psychics as much as mom? You mean fortune tellers? Like the Galonkios, the ones who cursed us? They are not natural. They are not trustworthy. Gypsies. Nona, who's your favorite grandchild? It's me, right? Of course, you are my favorite. My sweet little Dion. No, Lord. Well, I gotta go back to my spy stuff. Good boy. Don't get that big head. Nice trick, Tala. Is Nona looking? Yes. And she looks really impressed. <laughs> Hey, Mom. 
Hmm. Oh, yes, Rasputin? What you doing? I'm trying to perfect the devil's fire hose, of course. It's a risky one, but I think this might be the spectacle that puts the Aquatos back on top. Can I help? Yes. Tell me how to make the devil's fire hose reach even greater heights. How about some sight? Finish that sentence, and it will kill your mother, Rasputin. Maybe if everyone stood on tippy toes? Everyone is already stretched to their full height. I should know. I stretch them every day. What if we incorporate animals into the act? Overall, children are cheaper and slightly cleaner. <laughs> what if we set everyone's costumes on fire? Very oh. exciting. But these are the only costumes we have, Rasputin. Seems like doing the trick horizontally would be safer. Safety doesn't fill seats, Rasputin. What if... Everyone were singing. Ah, I'd rather die in water. Blindfolds? We tried that before. Remember the big pink eye epidemic? Shut us down for a week. Chainsaws? Who will pay for the gasoline, darling? Well, that's all the ideas I got. Sorry. Hmm. You really want to help me? Go find your brother, Queepy. He's wandered off again. Top of what? Top of the acrobatic world, Rasputin. As the Aquatos once were, before the curse. Can I ask you about the curse? Not too loud. You know your father doesn't like to talk about it. But as you know, a cruel fortune teller cursed our family, Raz. Every Aquato for all time is cursed to die in water. That is why we had to leave our grand aquatic circus behind and start again at the bottom in this humble family troop. We may not have water anymore, but we still have the most important thing, right? We still have family. highly stretchable ligaments. Oh, yes, and family. Who cursed us? Too many questions. Stay away from the water! That's all you need to know. I stopped arguing with that woman long ago. Dion seems really mad at me. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll get over your betrayal of the family soon. I didn't betray the family. Listen, your father raised you all to mistrust and dislike fortune tellers. You mean psychics. Mental tricksters. And now your father has this change of heart. Suddenly everything Dion knows to be true is wrong. I'll tell you how to fix things between you. How? Go practice with him. Bond, go! Why did Dad raise all of us to hate psychics? Acrobats and fortune tellers have one of the great rivalries of the circus. One side uses skill and passion to bring thrills and joy to people's hearts. And the other bends spoons and curses whole families to die in water. But you say you are a psychic now, so we are all being very broad-minded. I am a psychic. So's Dad, and so's for Ow! Yes, and I still love you all. But please, don't rub my nose in it, Rasputin. How do you feel about Dad being psychic? Every family has its secrets. The trick is to hide your shame away where no one can see it. That doesn't sound very healthy. It's oh. smoking! Hey, everybody! My pine cone is... Oh, never mind. That's my thumb. Does that sound healthy to you? You know, Agent Forsyth is a very important psychonaut. And she's really cool, actually. I think you'd really like each other if you hung out. The woman in the suit? Ugh, we get along just fine. As long as we keep our distance. A circus can only have one prima donna. Sorry about running away. It's okay, Rasputin. I blame myself. Really? Why? I forgot to latch your door that night. You... you latch our door at night? From the outside? Only since Queepy started sleepwalking. Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. <laughs> Too real! <laughs> Better bring these bees to Agent Bool. I'm not 100% sure about these air holes. So yeah, mom is power mom, dad is working hard to be super dad, loved by all little good cop, bad cop action, 
The siblings are all very real to their roles. You have Frazy the oldest, Dion the oldest brother, Raz, and then the two little munchkins who are, you know, being themselves and want That's their own identity. Uh oh. Looks like we got a full pouch, finally. We need to unload some titanium. Ow. I think that's all we need to do. Back to base. Finally. Those of you who don't like the forest there, don't worry. We're heading home. Miser, not card miser. Combine your sidecar. Check out these new time bubbles. We picked bins. up a lot of stuff, most of which you saw. Not all of it, though. That's enough for one rank and another one straight up. As soon as we get a core, let me see how much we can have right here. We can totally get more this power. right now. Get more power. We can't use it yet, but we got it when we need it. And. Let's see, let's get another core. It's two ranked straight there just from exploring. Do want this wallet, but I need to rank first. I want the power right, right now. Let's combine that psycore with Put your card so out. you can rank up. And there we go. Two ranks just from random cards we found around the way. And there are probably even more. I found what I could, though. All right. Gonna ignore these filters and get a Let's core full of road. There we go. Dark thoughts are now accessible. So, now that we can finally connect to Dark Thought, many secrets are open to us if we go back and explore some older mines. And many secrets will be open to us the first pass through mines we see from now on. You do want to get access to Dark Thoughts quicker rather than later if you're going for completion or just to get as many collectibles as possible and for a few nice shortcuts. If you're playing along at this point, I would say load up on Titanium. At many spots, it repopulates, so make a lap around that you know where a bunch of little money spots appear and nab as much every single time you go by as you can stand. It might be a little annoying, but it'll be really worth it later. Also, there's a certain point where certain powers won't really matter anymore as secrets will be less important when you get close to the end of the game. There's no real post-game or super boss whatsoever, so you're gonna want all these power-ups and abilities to help you get through the game, and if you wait until the game is done, it's just kind of there for bragging rights. Outside, in front of the mother mother lobe area, around this lake, there are quite a few secrets that are hard to get to and require a few abilities and some acrobatic skill. Got a good chunk of busy work done. I'm gonna take this little boat here and pick up a few little more knickknacks between screens so we can be powered up as much as possible for the next mission, which is gonna be good. But for now, be safe, be well, and goodbye.